I'll just keep it simple. My art teacher used to say this to me back in the day. This is back like when I was a kid, literally like 16, 17 years old. I had a very talented art music, um, uh, teacher who became very famous for teaching and all about the world. Uh, Miss Star. Rest in peace, Miss Star. Anyway, hmm. point is, is that she used to always say this when it came to certain things in pictures and how to make pictures uh, really look alive and look kind of realistic, especially when you dealt with fire, you dealt with light, you dealt with certain things. Light lights make dark darks, and dark darks make light lights. Does everybody get that? I'm gonna repeat that. This is a very like old school art thing. Light lights make dark darks, and dark darks make light lights. She used to say that to us all the time. And what that means is, so because you have this fire here, right? This is a very light light, right? So if it's a light light against the subject, the subject's gonna be actually what? I said it dark dark right so believe it or not however a light source hits against a subject whether in front of the subject or behind the subject will affect the subject more intensely right so if this light was behind the subject right we've all kind of shot somebody behind the sun what happens they get super underexposed yeah. underexposed right it gets super dark right right light lights make dark darks right and then dark darks make light lights so like I, I just always remember that theory try and keep that theory in your head and the more you kind of remember that the more and more it's going to be a little bit 